Hello everyone, welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Solo Slash Warrior. This is Siege. I realized I forgot to do this at all. And if you've watched the Beginner's Guide to Support, then we're going to take the concept of building more aggressive, more damaging supports. We're going to spin that on around the other way. We want tankier and... Uh, less damaging, more defensive warriors. Guan Yu, Chak, Hercules, Horus, all excellent candidates for this. Right? So, we're going to want to uh, pick one of these. Maybe Achilles as well, depending on how you play him. Amaterasu, again, depending on how you play her. King Arthur can also work. Uh, let me see. We have Arteo, so... Uh, do I go with King Arthur? Hmm... I might go with Guan Yu. I could go with Osiris. I could go with Vaman. Let's King go Arthur. with uh, King Arthur, I think. Let me double check this mentally. No, we're going to go with Guan Yu. We can really do a lot of damage to their uh, protections with Guan Yu. So, let's see here. Oh, they're going full tank. Okay, that's interesting. That's what is known as a man team, where you build all warriors, or in this case, guardians, or some mix of the two. Okay, well, unfortunately for them, between Arteo and I, we're going to have a lot of ways of reducing their protections, so it's not really going to go well for them in the long run. Especially since they're... Uh, scaling isn't that great. Ymir's scaling on some of his abilities is good, so is Athena's. Geb and Bacchus don't have that great of a scaling. Bacchus at least has a power buff that he can utilize through his ult, but that's about it. Geb is able to do some more consistent damage now that they've added some um, flat damage to his ult. Uh, not flat damage. Yeah, I'm thinking, I think it was flat damage that they added to his ult. Uh, but I, I think they're making a mistake here. Only time will tell. Alright, so I'm not even necessarily going to need Sentinel's Gift. In this case, we're actually going to go right into, I think, Warding Sigil. Because we can go into Sigil the Old Guard later on in the game. And we're, of course, going to start with some magic protections. We're going to go with... Actually, no, we can go... Uh, no, we can't. Oh, I know how I can build. I know exactly how I need to build here. Alright, so they're gonna go for the speed? No, they're going for the... Okay, yeah. That's fine. Please? Minions have spawned. On my way. I am impressed. Now, she does make an excellent point that Runic Shield will be very important for uh, this overall. Because they're going to need all the power they can get with the scaling. So this ultimately, I think, will work out quite well. There they are. They were just really late to the clear. That's kind of really cool. This is... I, it's not very often that you fight in the jungle rather than the land. That was a bit interesting. See, that's what I wanted you to do. Get a hit. You survived with 5 HP. You're gonna die for me? Dude, none of you have the link. Alright. Get that. Enemies have returned to base. 
yeah, they're going to be going for animosity, clearly. I'll probably want to pick up some form of physical protections. I'll probably grab Witchblade, uh, which will help me against Towers, the Siege minions, the regular minions, the Titan. Uh, and it will also reduce their attack speed, which is what I'm really going to want. He tried. He's just looking to take me. That's what he wants. There's Athena back. She's probably gonna dive me. She's got the, uh, yep, Stone of Binding. That's fine. She, here she comes. I'm gonna go back and see if we can move him in. <laughs> All right. That was interesting. Enemy ultimate down. Yeah, where is where is Ymir going? Information is the key. Very nice. And now she has to go back. Nah, don't don't do it, don't do it. Be right back. Oh nice. I'm impressed he hit that. That was very good. Right. Genji's guard winning shield. Well, it's not necessarily that they're noobs, it's more like they've got a terrible team composition. I don't know if this arose as the result of an argument, because I have seen situations like that, or if they just are all friends and they're just goofing off, which is also possible. They're not really that serious about winning. Which it could be that case as well. Why am I over here? I don't need to be over here. I need to be in left lane. Maybe that too early, I can loop around like this. <laughs> Holy cow. Very close. Ah, oh, he barely survived. We can grab this and we can teleport right over there. Hi. We can just actually literally focus on the enemy team. An enemy has been slain. No, that's not worth it. We'll be in a second. Here we go. We must fight for survival. Yes. Do not give up. All right. Yes. Back is desperately trying to take down the right lane here. Good old. Is that a thing? Yeah. I'm not sure how that hit her. It should not have, but okay. Okay. Nice, nice. Ooh. Slow him down. Good play, Bacchus. Good play. Okay. Retreat! <laughs> no. Sorry. Excellent. No problem. 
Alright, now my next move. I don't need Witchblade now. That's just not necessary at this point in time. Um, Oni Hunter's Garb might be a good idea. Oh, no, but I need this Pestilence. I'm assuming they're going to be building some form of right healing at some point. Probably uh, Mail of Renewal would make a lot of sense. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I should build Heart Ward. Oh, uh, RDO already has that. Never mind. Okay, if that's the case. Well, it wouldn't hurt to have a second one, but we'll take that build slowly. Like I said, I'll definitely want Witchblade because I already know for a fact they're building Animosities. So they're going to want that. He's going to be building it. She's going to be building it. Because they're going to see that as their late game Order damage. Away. Because they're not going to have a whole lot of late game damage. I think the only one who's going to scale really well into the late game is going to be Ymir and Athena, to be completely honest. An enemy siege juggernaut has arrived. How do you That's fine. Out of Slain. I believe in you. Let's go, let's go. Your wall cannot prevent me from healing. That's that's not really worth our time. Is he gonna be able to pick him up? No. We need to stop this siege dragon up. Right lane. Okay. I'll defend left lane. Have fun. Thanks. It's all yours, Yonus. So I don't need it. What was that? One fell beautiful swoop. Oh, I missed that. That was a good opportunity there, but we'll just do this instead. Well, that's cute. Turn and fight. <laughs> Get out of here. Do you even have damage? Really desperate to save this thing. On my way. One less opponent that can stop us. I am I'm gonna make it out of here too. Yeah. Not. Oh yes, I am. Double kill. Is he following me further? Cease. Nope. <laughs> I can't believe I survived that. Yeah, I'm probably going to want some uh, anti-healing here just to be paranoid. I'm just assuming they're going to be building mail renewal and other things like that. I myself will want... Uh, I'll go with um, Shield of Regrowth for myself. And blink. Oh, that's not going to live long enough. We'll take out this wave then. <laughs> On my way. Good play, good play. I'm gonna kill you through the power of minions and teamwork, love, all that other stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm out of here. Dios mio. That's too bad. Your team has destroyed a left enemy. Team. Oh, wow. Awesome. awesome. Yes. <laughs> I love that awesome. <laughs> Yahoo! Retreat. Yeah, I don't have the health no. for this. I'll attack. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> we have another hey. siege out They were taking that in the background. Nice. I was so busy making sure that Yanos got out and making sure uh, Scotty was going to be fine. The building of Shogun's Kasari is just genius, honestly. Wait, 
Alright, alright. Oh, this is disturbing. This is what happens with man teams nowadays. So this was obviously not exactly the greatest game, but the actual main point I was trying to get across holds true. When you are playing a warrior in a siege, uh, you do want to go with that more defensive style there. You really don't want to be building too much damage. You'll notice I was really not tempted to go too much damage. I was going to go with bluestone, and that was mostly going to be it. Runic shield's power was more of a, a bonus than anything else, because what I really wanted it for was for its passive. Um... But Bluestone, when I upgraded this, this is going to be all I want. <laughs> this is going to be all I wanted to um, boost up because that would have been all the damage I would have needed against a full man team, right? And then the rest of this, you know, again, Runic Shield, a little bit of power, which is nice to have, but not really strictly necessary. I was going to go into Witchblade against the, um, against the definitely animosity, which was they were clearly working up towards. I mean, Geb had. Um, Shogun's Kusari. Now the problem is, if they were going to go with a man team, there's nothing necessarily wrong with man teams themselves, but Geb should not have been the one with animosity. He should have been going for an ability focus type uh, build, because he actually does very well with that. Soul, uh, I think it's Soul Reaver it's called, it does extremely well with Geb. Um, Polynomicon, some pure damage. Uh, Bacchus does well with a hybrid. Ymir does really well with auto attacks, so Ymir actually should have been the one with animosity. And Athena... Probably should have been going hybrid as well. Um, but yeah, even though this was a very odd game and probably not the best example, the main point still holds. When you're playing a warrior in Siege, what you're really looking to do is build more defensive, right? Because you are f essentially functioning as a physical support in Siege. You still want some damage, just the supports want to build some damage in this mode specifically. But at the end of the day, you're really just looking for just that little bit of, uh, a little bit extra protection, so a little bit extra defensiveness. Um, so with that being said, thank you all very much for joining me. Thank you. Uh, if you liked this, uh, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please ignore me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. And thank you all very much for joining me. Have a great 24 hours.